So the other day, Marilyn Lee shared a photo of this. It is someone else's work, but this was done on a Singer 72W19 hemstitching machine, at least the outside of that bit, okay? And I wondered whether or not this could be done using a Singer hemstitching attachment. So watch this space and let's see what happens. So here I have the design traced and pinned. So I'm going to, all the blue I'm going to hemstitch and see what happens. Actually, it's relatively easy to turn. You just do it either when only the piercer's down or when the needle's down. And then you can just tell, you just feel it. It's really when the piercer's up that you can twist it.
comes the interesting part. Ooh, not bad. That's almost a perfect lineup. In fact, it did line up. That's quite surprising for spinning around. So I'll put the needle down and then we'll spin. Perfect. So, needle's down in the hole. Piercer's lined back up. Let's see if we can make this work in the reverse direction now.
So now we're going to go around the top, but we need to go the opposite direction to make sure it does the outside of the holes. Okay, so I've reached the end. As you can see, it's more difficult to get perfect holes around the outside. However, what I'll do is I think I'll just spin it around and go around one more time the right way, or the other way, just because it's easier and see if it can just retract some of the holes and tidy them up a bit. So I'll show you the results when I finished. It's actually not too bad at all. So that's the wrong side where the tarlatan is, and that's the right side. So you can see some of the thread work and stuff, but that's okay. I'm going to be doing a bit more with this shortly, and uh, using some basic sewing machine stitches, embroidery stitches, like the ball pattern, or the diamond pattern, or the cross stitch pattern, to add some texture in the middle. I think that'll be a little bit of fun. I'm hoping that shows up. I can't quite see, but anyway, there you go.